So this video is all about a calorie deficit. Now a calorie deficit occurs by burning more calories than what your body is consuming. So hypothetically, if you run 3000 calories to maintain your own body weight, essentially all you'd have to do is come beneath that number to drop body weight. So you can do this a number of ways. You can do this by expenditure, by way of cardio sessions, weight training and steps, activity in general, sports, or you can lower calories. Now, depending on which one you take will depend on the person you are or the client that you're dealing with. So some people prefer to lower food purely for the sole reason that they have an, an they have a mental attachment to food, which is completely fine. Some people do. Some people associate food with happiness or sadness or grief or whatever kind of emotion that they might feel that makes that trigger of food come on which is more common than what you think now the other way is expenditure by way of cardio way of steps now this will massively be dependent on that on the individual's recovery capabilities because if you're pushing in six cardio sessions a week let's say and you can't recover from that, you're creating an energy deficit or a calorie deficit in the wrong way because you're eating into your recovery capabilities. So you won't be doing the world of good. So you have to find a balance between the two and you have to actually sit yourself down and ask yourself which method suits you best because you have to have both. You have to have cardio in, in some form just for general health but you also do still have to create an energy deficit, otherwise you won't lose body weight. So again, which one you go for is completely dependent on yourself. Cheers for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.